Here's a vegan shopping list idea. We're not going to get into a lot of details. I'm going to do another video on something with details. And uh, aluminum-free baking powder for baking. You can tell I've been making some biscuits and pancakes. Baking soda. You want some oil, some high temp oil like the hemp oil and canola oil, salt, and a great thing to add to your shopping list is seasonings, some kind of combination seasoning. This is a California citrus rub. It goes great on grilled veggies. This is taco seasoning. You know it goes good on everything. And this is the last little tiny bit of a uh, packet that had red chili flakes in there. Sesame seeds are always a good thing to sprinkle on every dish. It adds a little bit of nutrients too. It's good. It's a way of giving your daily uh, dose of seeds. Wheat, rice, and other grains. This is an interesting one. Always go for variety and try something new at the store. So when you go into get your whole grains, you're going to potentially run into variety, especially at Trader Joe's. And this is organic frika. Frika? Frika. I've got some wild foraged porcini mushroom. I have great um, cornmeal, and I also have the corn grits, the polenta size, to make grit cereal in the morning along with coconut milk. Definitely add coconut milk to the shopping list. The roasted rice green tea, noni tea, chamomile tea, green tea, and a breakfast tea of your choice. Um, Earl Grey or Orange Pico or um, something always in the kitchen. Apple pectin for a thickener. That is something you can make gems, jellies, sauces, and more with that. Anything that cools off and sets for a long point in time. And some of my recipes have apple pectin in it because it also has other effects in the food. Bananas is a backup. If you run out of bananas and you want a smoothie. I've also got um, brown rice flour for making gravies. And this is great for making gravies thicker because it's just like regular flour, but it's gluten free. So it is actually, it works better, less clumping. And I've got fruit. This is figs. If you wanna have some dehydrated fruit at home, currants. Currants are great with your smoothies and other in and throw it in with your rice currants you know have a huge amount of nutrients in them to offer so use them uh, mushrooms forage for mushrooms forage for your food whenever you can i've also got some kind of um, hemp cereal that was you know another variety thing it has all kinds of stuff in it look for variety in morning cereals then you've got another thickener that I, I use as a thickener because this is actually very glutinous. This is farine, and it is a very super fine flour that um, is used to make the glutinous um, Chinese food like that. Farine, farine. And um, I've got a food topper. We have um, onions that I've dehydrated and they ended up crumbling up. Um, and more uh, spices. That looks like sage, actually. All right, add this to your shopping list. Wolf berries. Wolf berries. Try to get a good look at that because wolf berries... Here we go. They're great, high in nutrients, and they last a long time. Cranberries. Now, a couple of spices and things you might want to add to your cooking, depending depending on your health, depending on what your nutrition consultant advises. And here I've got two types of mushroom powders that I'm highly advised for my health condition.
I've got ginger. Ginger is also good to have in the kitchen at all times. I've got bottles to go buy water, go buy water, go get your water from a mountain water spring. If you can't do that, try to get spring water. If you can't do that, get that reverse, well, get any water that is not tap water. All right, there's the polenta grits for the grits, morning grits, cereal, roasted garlic, really good on practically anything and everything. I've got the tea bags, more tea. So tea is a great way of getting different herbs and things in the day. Oh, coconut milk for sure. Add coconut milk and there's some good sea salt. Sea salt that is, of course, this is natural. Good thing it's not synthetic. Okay, wine. Wine goes good with cooking. And uh, no, the alcohol cooks out, so it's like, it's a flavor. It's a great flavor. So here's Coastal Bay seasoning. Again, this is like a specialty blend from a spice shop and it's fresh and Penzi Spices Online has a great selection. I have no affiliation at all to uh, mention or benefit from anything through them. So do a search. Find a local spice store in your area. Mine is called Savory Spice. And they sell a super huge amount of different spices. This is, oh my gosh, this is like smoked, hickory smoked sea salt. Add that to your shopping list and don't get the one that says flavoring added. This is, <clears throat> what this says is, this sea salt is naturally smoked over burning hickory wood chips. There's no flavoring listed in this salt but there is a little like really expensive uh, plastic container of salt available on the market that says smoked sea salt but it has smoke flavor and salt and that just doesn't cut it that is not the same uh, so if you can't find the smoked salt in your area contact savory savory i think that's backwards but you know savory Okay, so we have the garlic, we got that pickles, pickled goods, fermented foods. Fermented foods is great. There's my, is that my kombucha or, or that might be my, um, my kefir. And onions, onions, carrots, uh, cruciferous vegetables. I know I've got some Chinese spinach in the fridge and I've got olives for snacking. I've got lemon juice and oatmeal. Um, add nutritional yeast is a great thing to have in the cabinets and the, in the kitchen. And just off the top of my head, you know, these are the like, most commonly used things anyway. Peanut butter, several types of jelly you want to have in the kitchen because it's going to help in its fast food. <laughs> it's fast. It's food. Fast, but not fast food. And mixes like the organic chopped greens, chopped salad mix, lime juice, sparkling water, lemon juice, olives, all kinds of... Um, there's potatoes and kimchi and sauerkraut. Oh, this is a definite... Put this on your shopping list and add this to some foods. Capers are absolutely the best ever and you'll if you like sauerkraut add fermented rice to your list you will love it you'll fall in love with it three types of salad dressing if you like to make asian style dishes get plum sauce this is so sweet and it is so good and you can just scoop it like jam onto your it's very much like chutney but it's plum sauce it's salted plums and sugar and we have some hot sauce and in the freezer we have ice um, <laughs> mixed frozen vegetables and about five types of mixed frozen berries and it looks like I put 
um, a couple of things of flour in the freezer, long-term storage. And there is something I would like you to check out or ask for by request. This is definitely, not, I'm not affiliated with this in any way, but this is a good thing to have in case you run out of coconut milk. You have this frozen block of coconut and water. And um, like me, if you use coconut in soups and things and you want to do something like that for dinner, coconut meat and a, a vitamin C, coconut meat sugar and vitamin C. And um, sugar is new. So I always try to get some coconut and water only. Young coconut. Hey, and it's great. I've also got some preserved things like the, um, geez, what is that? This is apples. I'm pretty sure. Applesauce. And here is lemongrass and oil. Lemongrass, oil, and salt, actually. And a little tiny package like that makes it makes any lemongrass chicken or lemongrass tofu, you know, mock chicken, of course. And, <clears throat> and if you want to see the mock chicken making video, then check it out on Individualized Nutrition, because that's where more stuff, I think you might be on that channel. Anyway, more videos there. Channel Individualized Nutrition and anything else. Let's see. Coffee. There's coffee up there. And I use coffee sometimes for asthma. It really is a great expectorant. And so um, black espresso under the tongue 15 minutes. Swallow. Repeat until the shot is gone. And it really does help. Sometimes a double shot is the minimum dose. So depending on my asthma, which is very severe enough to have to carry one of these around, actually. So I do have a prescription. I only use it as needed. And, da -da. oh, more coconut. Also add nutritional yeast, um, if I didn't say that. So I hope this has helped you get a shopping list together and enjoy use these things often, put these things close to the, uh, like my cupboard is here, my stove is here, put these in arm's reach of your cooking area.